Sterizer. Hey, what's up everyone welcome back to Sterizer TV this is the river wednesday update and in today's episode we are starting at lindy west house where we find lindy when bangizwe when bangizwe was asking lindy what is she thinking lindy we told bangizwe that she's thinking about zanotando's future bangizwe told lindy that he knows that she's worried that detective muiti is talking to the social workers bangizwe told lindy to try to get it out of her head and he told her not to worry about killing crazy lindy told bangizwe that even so zanotando Zanotando needs the mother. Bangizwe told Lindywe that Zanotando have the mother and her name is Lindywe and she is a very sexy mother and Lindywe was smiling for Bangizwe's compliments. When they were still talking, Chabalala entered telling them that they will be so happy to hear this news because it brought them good news that Detective Muiti dropped the case officially. Bangizwe asked Chabalala if he mean that he destroyed all the evidence that is linking them to the case. Chabalala said yes and Chabalala told Bangizwe that he also have to thank Ndumiso because of the edit that it did on the footage. He said that it was so brilliant because it only shows Didier going to the shopper's mansion. Bangizwe thanked Shabalala for the great work and Bangizwe asked Shabalala when are they going to celebrate now or later but Shabalala told Bangizwe they have to celebrate right now. Bangizwe walked to pour some whiskey for Shabalala and moving to Cobra to Tsomukwena's house, Beauty entered calling Dimpo's name. Dimpo came and greeted Beauty asking her what's up. Beauty told Dimpo that she just came to check on her saying that she thought she would find her in bed and she brought her some snacks that they could relax and watch TV. Dimpo told Beauty that she's on her way to work. Beauty was surprised hearing Dimpo saying that. Beauty started stammering and told Dimpo that she knows that she is going through a lot and she knows how she feel because even for her when Mlilo passed away she was not okay even though they were no longer together by that time but for Dimpo it must be worse because Kaniso proposed to her and all of a sudden he is no more. Dimpo asked Beauty if she came here to express her condolences so that there is no future between her and Kaniso and Dimpo smiled while Beauty was surprised asking Dimpo if she is okay. Dimpo told Beauty that What's so important to her is that she is alive. Beauty told Dimpo that she knows that she was about to marry Kaniso. Dimpo told Beauty that she is gonna be late for work. And then Dimpo left, Beauty standing confused. And at that moment, Cobra came and told Beauty that he knows her, that she has got a verbal diarrhea and she is too talkative. He told her not to run around and talk about Dimpo for what happened. And then Beauty was still confused, left Copra. And moving back to Lindywe's house, Lindywe was having coffee with Bangizwe when Andile entered. Andile told them that he came to fetch his lunch so that he's gonna go to the mine. Lindywe told Andile to sit and have some coffee. Andile told his mother that he's fine. And Lindywe asked her son if he's okay. Andile told his mother that he's fine but at the same time he's not okay. Especially after what happened at the shoppers. And at the same time Enzo is asking him about Zano. Lindy we told Andy that at least Enzo is gonna grow together with Zano Tando as brother and sister. Andy Le told his mother that he thinks Kanyesa Diamond can hold a memorial service for the shoppers perhaps Friday for them just to pay their respects. Lindy we told Andy that that's not a bad idea but she has got no time for that. Andy Le told his mother not to worry he will handle it and he will update her for the rest of the details. And Lindy we told Andy Le that it's okay and Andy Le left and Bangizo was asking Lindy well, why would she allow that. Lindy told Bangizo that she had no time to argue with that boy Andile and this is a sensitive matter so she didn't want to give him some ideas. When Lindy was outside Kiriboni arrived at Lindy house and Rahadi apologized to Lindy for dropping unannounced. Lindy asked Rahadi if it's about work. Rahadi told Lindy that it's personal and it's about Dimpo. Rahadi told Lindy that she knows that her hands are full with shopping matter and she wouldn't come if it wasn't important. Rahadi continued telling Lindy that before this shopper incident that shopper boy called Nganyiso and Dimpo got engaged. Now the way things are when she's looking at Dimpo it looked like Dimpo comes to the fact that Nganyiso is dead. She hasn't processed the whole thing. She's just behaving normally. Lindy we told Rahadi that she doesn't know why Rahadi is telling her this. Kiriboni started stammering and ended up telling Lindy that she was thinking that 
Lindy we can at least try to talk to her about this situation she's in because if she carries on like this it may affect her in the future she can be worse than this eventually and Lindy will ask Rahadi if there are no more counselors who can do counseling to her Rahadi told Lindy that that girl is so stubborn because they've been trying to talk to her but she's listening to no one because she idolizes Lindy and then Lindy has lost so many relatives then Lindy can have an experience in this Rahadi begged Lindy to try to talk to Dimpo about this so that Dimpo should know how to deal with this day by day Lindy asked Rahadi if she's done talking and Lindy told Rahadi to get out as Rahadi was leaving she told Lindy that she will wait for her phone call when Rahadi was left Lindy was talking to herself saying she's been asking herself where's the train station at her gate it brings people from the shacks and going back to Cobra Tusomukwana's house Bonolo was reading a magazine on the couch when Rahadi entered Rahadi asked Bonolo for Timpo's whereabouts Bonolo told Rahadi that Timpo is at work Rahadi was surprised again, asking Bonolo not to say that. Bonolo told Rahadi that she tried together with Tuso, but they both failed. Bonolo asked Rahadi if this is a normal behavior for someone who is grieving. Rahadi said she would understand if they say she shouldn't talk about Nganiso, but now they didn't. And at the same time, she's acting as if nothing happened. Bonolo told Rahadi that maybe Timpo, this is how she's processing things. Rahadi said, the doctors refer this as psychotic breakdown. Bonolo stopped Rahadi and told her they shouldn't diagnose Dimpo because they don't know what's going on in her head. Rahadi told Bonolo she doesn't know what to do anymore. Bonolo told Rahadi they need to leave her. She'll come around, she'll be fine. And then Bonolo asked Rahadi how did it go, her meeting with Lindy. Rahadi said well she spoke to her so she will see if she does what she asked. Moving back to Lindy West house, Veronica was sitting and crying, crying for the death of her friend, the fool. When mom Flora came to her with a glass of water, Veronica was crying, telling Flora that she still can't believe that her friend, the fool, has passed away because she and her, they were close. Flora was still begging Veronica to drink water. Veronica was telling Flora that they were not even friends for such a long time, but it was like they've been friends for years. Flora told Veronica that it sounds as if she had found herself a sister. Flora was telling Veronica she knows how it feels losing someone that you love because herself too has lost a lot of people that she loves like her son KP, KP, Mohumi, Walter, as well as Nyagalo. Flora told Veronica she knows how she felt. She told Veronica that when she saw Nomafu, she thought she was the strong woman, the one that is not a dying type. Veronica told Flora she and Nomafu were similar. They were both party people. And then Veronica started crying again when Flora was begging her to calm herself down, telling her that Kwezi and Zolani left her a granddaughter, Zanotan. Flora told Veronica to take courage from that and she told her to stop crying. And moving back to Cobra Tutomukwena's house, Rahadi was in the kitchen when Dimpo entered coming from work. When Dimpo was angry at Rahadi, asking Rahadi why did she go behind her back telling her boss that she lost a fiancé. Rahadi told Dimpo that she shouldn't be at work. Dimpo got so pissed and told Rahadi they are busy telling her about Nganyiso this Nganyiso that who haven't even paid a dowry. Bonolo came asking both of them what's with that noise. Dimpo told them both that it's her who will decide how she's feeling. Rahadi told Dimpo that Nganiso is gone, he's dead and he's no longer with them. She continued telling Dimpo that that is the man that she was gonna have a future with is no more. She told Dimpo to allow herself to feel the pain, not to suppress the pain. Because what she's doing, it will sneak up on her and when it does, it will make her sick. Rahadi begged Dimpo to absorb the the pain and face it and accept it by grieving the normal way. Dimpo told them both that they've ruined her plans because she's going out tonight and then she left them and Bonolo said sorry to Rahadi for Dimpo's behavior and going back to Lindiwe's house Veronica was still crying sitting on the couch when Andile was coming back from work asking Veronica what is it. Veronica told Andile that she's fine although Veronica was still crying asking Andile what are they all living for. If life will be this cruel, when you are all having fun together as the family and the next thing you are all dead. Andile told Veronica he wished to know who had 
the guts of killing the whole family. Veronica told Andy that it's all because his fault. Because Fufu, Kanyiso and Kwezi are all gone because of Bukosi. Veronica told Andy that Zano Tando will grow up without a mother. Andy informed Veronica about the memorial service that is gonna be at the Kanisa Diamond Mine on Friday, telling Veronica that maybe she can also come to pay her final respects. Veronica told Andy that she would love that idea. And moving back to Copa Tutomokwana's house, Dimpo was surprised when she entered the room and found Rahadi standing up with Lindiwe inside the house. When Dimpo was asking them what's going on, Lindiwe told Dimpo to take a little drive with her. Dimpo told Lindiwe, no, she's sorry, she's got plans, she's on her way out. Lindiwe insisted and told Dimpo that she actually just want to talk to her. Dimpo didn't respond and Lindiwe told her she will take that as a yes. And Rahadi once again apologized to Lindiwe for Dimpo's behavior. Lindiwe told Rahadi no problem, we all grieve differently. And Lindiwe informed Rahadi that there's also a memorial service for the Lopez at the mine on Friday. She told Rahadi it will be nice if she come with Dimpo. Rahadi told Lindiwe she got the memo and she'll be there. And Rahadi thanked Lindiwe once again as Lindiwe was going out with Dimpo. Dimpo and Lindiwe were at the cemetery not too far from Zolani's grave telling Dimpo she never saw a person so young as her grieving the way she does. Dimpo told Lindiwe that death comes to everyone. Dimpo asked Lindiwe if she was sent to be her new shrink. Lindiwe told Dimpo that death is something serious and a painful situation like losing a child and another one dies and you start feeling like you can follow both of them. She said when Dumi came to her life she made her forget and made her feel as she wanted to live again but when she died it broke her into pieces. Dimpo told Lindiwe that she can imagine the pain of losing a child and that must be so painful but she cannot relate to it. Lindiwe continued telling Dimpo that it's the same as losing someone you love. It just makes you feel as if the world and everyone in it doesn't exist and you feel alone. Dimpo told Lindiwe that Rahadi wasted her time for calling her because she's fine and she's alright. Lindiwe told Dimpo to fool herself and keep telling her that but she will get hurt. She told Dimpo to allow people she loves help her carry on this burden otherwise she will drown. Dimpo with the attitude told Lindiwe that she needs to go she's got no time for this and Lindiwe was left looking at Dimpo walking away. Do you think Dimpo will take Lindiwe's advice? Let's see what's gonna happen. Don't go anywhere because the Thursday's episode is coming right now up next. Hey what's up welcome back to Thursday's update on the river right here on Terizer. TV Teases and in today's episode we are starting at Lindiwe's house where we found Bangizwe playing with Zanotando asking her why she's eating her hand and Lindiwe entered asking Bangizwe if he see how peaceful she is and then Bangizwe told Lindiwe that Zanotando when she is older she'll never believe them if they tell her what she's been through and Lindiwe told Bangizwe that Zanotando doesn't wanna be treated like a baby she wanna be treated like a big girl but wait a minute guys why is Crazy's baby looks older am I the only one seeing this even Tato Polina's baby is smaller than Zanotando but let's move on Bangizwe asked Zanotando about that smell when Lindiwe said it's time for a nappy change and Lindiwe was so surprised when Bangizwe tell her that he's the one who's gonna change her and Lindiwe asked Bangizwe if he's sure he's gonna change her and Bangizwe indeed he changed Zanotando's nappy and Lindiwe was laughing telling Bangizwe that he's getting soft and old and going to Copra's house Dimpo was busy on the mirror when Dimpo was screaming at Rahadi telling her that she's tired of them keep telling her about Nganiso. Rahadi told Dimpo that it took her time to crawl into Lindiwe asking for help without knowing what was on Lindiwe's mind but only for Dimpo to spit in her face. Dimpo told Rahadi that she didn't spit in anyone's face. She's just taking control of her life that's all and she's sick and tired of everyone making assumptions because she's fine she's perfect. Rahadi kept telling Dimpo that she's not okay. Dimpo told Rahadi that this is not the first time for her to lose someone she loves. Dimpo continued talking telling them to stop this smear campaign they've been running. Rahadi left 
left and stand by the door and Timpo with attitude asked Rahadi what she told Rahadi to go and moving to Kanisa Diamond Mine Andile was preparing for the memorial service when Lindio was telling Andile that the Mokwenas must be included because most of them are working for Kanisa Diamond and Andile was surprised when Lindy would tell him that Nganiso and Timpo were engaged tell Nganiso to also find the Lopez relatives from KZN to come to the memorial service so that they can take care of them. Andile was surprised by his mother when Andile was telling Lindiwe that's very considerate of her. Lindiwe told her she needs to show a little bit compassion and Bangizwe also reminded her to put everything behind her. She said she had to do the right things before the eyes of God. Andile was laughing saying they need to thank Bangizwe. Going to Cobra's home in Dimpo's room, Dimpo was busy taking pictures in front of the ring light when Cobra was knocking and Timpo was screaming at Cobra telling she's tired of them for not giving her a privacy always in and out. Cobra apologized to Timpo telling her that he didn't mean to offend her. He just came to tell her that he's going to the mall just to ask if Timpo wants anything. Timpo told Tuso to take photos of her and she gave him the phone telling him to make sure that the picture is a headshot and not to crop her head because she wants nice photos for a new day dating site. Tuso didn't believe his ears. Dimpo told her brother to hurry up because the time is moving and at that moment Dimpo's phone rang and it was a call from Lindiwe. When Dimpo asked herself what does she want now? Dimpo answered the call by saying Mrs. Tikana. Lindiwe corrected her saying it's Miss Jamini. Lindiwe asked Dimpo to meet her at the mine. Dimpo told her she can't right now because she is busy at the moment and she's got some stuff to do later. Maybe they can meet some other time. And Dimpo was busy busy rolling her eyes when Lindy was telling her that it's a business meeting. Dimpo needs to stop avoiding her and come to the mine. After that phone call, Dimpo was telling her brother that Lindy is trying to control her blah blah blah. Dimpo asked Tuso which lipstick is right to wear. Cobra was speechless and confused by his sister and moving to Bangizwe's crap. Bangizwe was talking to Ndumiso telling him that he's been single for a long time without a wife and he cannot think of anyone who knows him better than Lindiwe. Dumiso asked his father what exactly is he trying to say. Bangizwe told Dumiso that he wants to marry Lindiwe and he's not asking for Dumiso's advice but he's just telling him to let him know and Dumiso agreed and at that time Bangizwe told Dumiso to go out and call Melusi because he might think they are talking about him and going back to Kanyisa Diamond Mine Lindio was telling Bangizwe that she doesn't know what to do about the sloppy situation. Bangizwe told her not to worry because everything will be fine and Zanotando is gonna be okay because so many kids grow up without parents and as long as Lindy will tell her the truth she'll be okay when she's older as long as she loved her and raised her with respect she'll be a good girl and Bangizwe was telling Lindy where to relax and going back to Cobra's house Cobra was telling Rahadi that he doesn't believe what he saw with his eyes today Dimpo taking photos to sell herself on dating sites creating a dating profile. Rahadi told Tuso not to tell her that him too took Dimpo's selfies. Cobra told Rahadi that he had no choice. Rahadi did not believe what she was hearing and she was so confused thinking that Dimpo has lost her mind. Cobra told Rahadi that Dimpo is gonna make them suspect that she was involved in Chopper's killings the way she is acting. Rahadi told Cobra not to talk like that. Cobra was still shocked saying they didn't raise Dimpo to be like this. Both Rahadi and Cobra said Dimpo's behavior is not normal and Rahadi was also telling Tuso how rude Dimpo was towards Lindiwe. Cobra told Rahadi they need to do something about this before it gets out of hand. Cobra told Rahadi that maybe they need to take her to a prophet Francina. Rahadi told Cobra that's useless because Dimpo doesn't listen to anyone. Rahadi and Cobra agreed on that they need to make a plan about this and going back to Kanisa and Andile was locking his office, going to Lindiwe's office. When he came, he asked his mother if she's still at the office. Lindiwe told Andile that she's waiting for Dimpo. And Andile informed his mother about the preparations for memorial service. 
tomorrow. Andile asked Lindiwe if she's prepared for her speech. Lindiwe told Andile she will let the HR talk. HR is Kiriboni. But Andile told Lindiwe that she knows Bukosi better than Kiriboni. Lindiwe told Andile that she knows Bukosi better about his evil deeds. Andile told his mother not to speak about his bad side that she's gonna talk about the good things because people are also expecting Lindiwe to speak Lindiwe told Andile she'll think about it and Lindiwe continued telling Andile that it's so annoying when people are painting a dead person as a good person even when they were bad going to refill at the tavern Charlie was talking to Beauty asking her what is going on with Mokwena family Beauty was telling Charlie that she has got no idea but something serious is going on because she was a mess when Mlilo died even right now she's still not okay when she's thinking that Mlilo passed away and she remember when Mlilo broke up with her she said she cried every day she couldn't even sleep or eat Beauty continued saying that what's happening to Dimpo is confusing because she's not affected by Nganiso's death Charlie said maybe Dimpo was not in love with him it means that she was only with him for money you'll never no. Beauty got angry at Charlie and told him to shut his mouth and stop talking bad about Dimpo because Dimpo is her sister and a friend. They started arguing when Charlie was saying that it's true why she's not affected. While they were busy arguing about Dimpo, Cobra entered and they pretended like they are quiet and Cobra called Beauty Radio Refilwe asking her if she ever get tired of gossiping about people charlie said everyone is talking about this cobra told charlie that he's not talking about everyone he's talking about the two of them because they are his close friends cobra asked charlie what's eating him charlie told cobra they are just concerned about dimpo because her reaction is not normal cobra asked charlie what does he know about reaction cobra told charlie and beauty to leave his sister alone because she's going through a lot and going back to the kanye a diamond mine. Lindy was talking to Dimpo telling her that she wants to offer her a job as the junior mining engineer. Dimpo continued with her attitude, rolling her eyes, asking Lindy why is she offering her a job? Is it because she lost her fiance? Lindy told Dimpo no, it's because she's graduated and she's young, bright and ambitious personality. Although she can get beat too much at times, but she might be good for the job. And Lindy continued telling Dimpo that Kanisa offer a lot of benefits, pension fund, medical aid and psychologist which Dimpo clearly need. Lindiwe asked Dimpo if she's still wearing a dead person's ring on her finger. Dimpo take off the ring and put it on a table. As Dimpo was taking off the ring, she started to get emotional and stood up and go. When she was almost at the door, Lindiwe called her back and Lindiwe told her it's not easy to pretend everything is okay like to smile and laugh when nothing is okay she told Dimpo to let this process take its course and allow herself to grieve and at that moment Dimpo was so emotional telling Lindiwe that she feels helpless Lindiwe told Dimpo to sit down and back to Lindiwe's house Veronica was busy changing hats asking Flora which one can she wear at the memorial service Flora asked Veronica if she doesn't have a Veronica asked Flora if she mean her can wear a beret because beret is style for Cobra Mkwena not herself. She's going to her friend's memorial service not a church conference. Veronica asked Flora what's wrong with life? One minute you are alive the next you are dead with your whole family. Vero told Flora that people say Nomaf was a horrible person. Flora told Veronica that of course she was a horrible person. Vero asked Flora who is innocent in this world because because even Flora too is not innocent. Vero told Flora to stop talking bad about her friend. Flora and Veronica started arguing about the Shopper family. And moving back to Kanisa mine, Lindy was still talking to Dimpo, who was starting to get so fragile. When Lindy was telling Dimpo that yesterday she told her a lot about her losses, and it's not easy, and it can paralyze you, your body and your heart. Dimpo said she know. Lindy told Dimpo to allow herself to go through this process and allow her loved ones to love her and Lindiwe took Dimpo's engagement ring on the table and gave her back and that was the end of the episode let's see what's gonna happen in tonight's episode
how are you doing guys we've got a problem here we're, we're facing a problem as i told you that my computer hard drive got crashed by scom so right now i'm using someone's computers yesterday unexpectedly he came and took his laptop that's why i, I failed to deliver yesterday's update there's a comment guys from one of subscribers he told me his name is Siabonga or something he asked me why am i failing to buy a hard drive because hard drive is cheap hard drive is between 350 and 500 i agree that my friend is cheap but i am unable to buy it just because i'm not currently working because i was involved in an accident last month so i'm 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 having this this so i'm unable to go to work so i'm currently unemployed at the moment up until i remove this thing out of my arm and uh, there's another comment uh, from the guy who was trying to be a good samaritan or something he said he heard about my involvement in an accident he said he wanted to donate he asked for my banking details brah if you were serious about that my banking details just dm this number i'll give you my banking details if you were serious about donating although i'm not running a charity here but so that means your donation can help me buy the hard drive i would appreciate that actually i just wanted to answer that guy's question who said that i'm failing to buy a hard drive it's not that i'm failing i really do want to update you guys but you know using someone else's thing this guy told me that saturday he's gonna take it back permanently i don't know about next week's update
Steriza TV. Thank you for watching Steriza TV, and please don't forget to like, hit the notification bell and subscribe for more videos like this.